In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve an interesting dilution calculations questions from one of our subscribers and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, if you need a more detailed tutorial on dilution calculations or you just want to see more examples on dilution calculations, I'm going to put a link to a playlist in the description and I'm going to link the playlist in the cards as well. But let's get right to this question. The question says you have to prepare 100 milliliters of a solution of formaldehyde of such strength that 10 milliliters diluted to 1 liter will give a solution containing formaldehyde 0.15% weight by volume. What volume of formalin BP will be required? Formalin BP is 36% weight by weight formaldehyde and the density is equal to 1.08 grams per liter. Now let's start off with a quick schematic to illustrate what is going on in the question. You start off with 100 milliliters of a solution of formaldehyde. Now this is going to be more or less a stock solution so it's going to be more concentrated than the ultimate solution that you end up preparing. Now for this stock solution, the quantity is actually 100 milliliters. And what your ultimate goal here is, is to prepare a solution that is one liter. So you have a solution that is several full times the original stock solution, but it's more diluted as well. And so here the quantity, which is your final quantity, is one liter or 1000 milliliters. It also has a concentration and the final concentration is given as 0.15% and this is weight by volume. Now the way we end up with this diluted solution is to take from the stock solution 10 milliliter volume. So the volume here is actually 10 milliliters. So that's a picture of what's actually happening in the question. So the way we want to approach this question is we first want to determine the amount of formaldehyde that is present in the one liter solution. And so the way we do that is we take the concentration of the solution, which is 0.15% weight by volume, and then we take the volume, which is one liter. Now we want to convert the liters to milliliters so that our computation is much more easier. And the conversion says one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. Now, the way we find the amount of formaldehyde, so let's just make a note, amount of formaldehyde in the one liter solution is we take 0.15%, which implies that you have 0.15 grams of formaldehyde in 100 milliliter solution. And that is going to be equal to some quantity in grams divided by the 1000 milliliters, which is the one liter. So 1000 milliliters. We go ahead and solve for x, which is our unknown. So x equals 0.15 grams times 1000 milliliters divided by 100 milliliters. And that is going to be equal to 1.5 grams. Now it's important to note that all of this 1.5 grams actually came from the volume that you put in there, the 10 milliliter volume that we took from the stock solution. All of this 1.5 grams of formaldehyde came from that 10 milliliters. So we are going to use that understanding and logic to determine how much formaldehyde is actually present in the entire 100 milliliter volume. And so the way we do that is we take the 1.5 grams and that 1.5 grams was in the 10 milliliter volume. And so that is going to be equal to some quantity in grams divided by the entire 100 milliliter stock solution. So when we solve for Y, that gives us the amount of formaldehyde in the 100 ml solution. So that implies that Y is going to be equal to 1.5 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 10 milliliters. And that is going to be equal to 15 grams. So now it's important to note that all of this 15 grams of formaldehyde, which is present in the 100 milliliter solution, is being supplied by the formalin BP, which has a concentration of 36%. Notice it's in weight by weight. So the step that we want to do here is we want to convert the weight by weight to weight in volume, and then we can set up a very nice proportion using the concentration of the formalin BP in weight and volume. 
And so the way we do that is we'll recall that percentage weight and volume of a solution is equal to the percentage weight and weight times the specific gravity. Now, because we've been given the density, if we divide it by the density of the reference fluid for specific gravity, that would be the density of water, which is one gram per milliliter. And so the specific gravity is also 1.08. And so the way we will find the percentage weight and volume then would be to say that the percentage weight and volume is equal to the 36% weight by weight times the specific gravity, which is 1.08. And once again, the way we go 1.08 is by dividing the density that has been given by the density of water. And the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter. And so 36 times 1.08, that is equal to 38.88%. And now this is weight and volume. So now we can set up a quick proportion. And the way we do that is to take the 38.88% weight and volume and interpret that as meaning that you have 38 0.88 grams of formaldehyde in 100 milliliters of the solution. And so if you have 15 grams, what will be the volume that is needed to supply that? So let's call the volume Z milliliters. And so we solve for Z and Z is going to be equal to 15 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 38.88 grams. And that is equal to 38.58 milliliters. Now, there are a few problems like this that have been solved on the channel. And so I'm going to put a link to a playlist that has all those videos. I'm also going to link the playlist in the cards. And so you can take a look at some of those examples to get additional practice. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.